something came over me. I, I realized I needed to get the weapon away from him. I needed to take this weapon, disarm him, or else everybody would have died. Um, so when, when I got the courage, I, I lunged at him with both my hands, grabbed the weapon, and we had a struggle. We struggled into the lobby, trying to get this gun away from each other. He was hitting me across the face, bashing the back of my head. Finally, at one point, I was able to pull the gun away from him, shove him aside, create some distance, point the gun at him, intimidate him, shout at him and say, get the hell out of here. I'll shoot. Get away. Go. I really thought I would have to shoot him if he came at me. This is when he turned around and walked out the door, jogged back to his van. There is no doubt that Brandon saved so many lives. He put his life on the line by challenging this shooter. When somebody has a gun and you are unarmed and you walk up to that person, you really are taking your life in your own hands. But thank God, thank goodness that Brandon was able to overpower this man. Obviously, adrenaline is going everywhere and people's strength increases when the adrenaline is, is popping. Uh, we can see that Brandon is certainly younger than the gunman, but anything could have happened, Jessica. Just really thank God for Brandon. Yeah, it really reflects that you know we keep us safe and it's community members who love the people who are in danger, uh, who are keeping us safe from these folks. The fact that he got away and was at large for a while was really scary. I think for members of that community, we haven't been in a situation like that in some time. Uh, but the fact that we even have people like Don Jr. or Little Trump, which I think is a great nickname for him. Uh, saying something that just doesn't describe what's happening or the political narrative whatsoever because of course we're covering this I've seen coverage of this all over Twitter you know the left is addressing this it's not that we're only addressing mass shooters if they are white conservative men but That's it goes right. to show that there are political echo chambers here yeah, I mean, they can't help themselves. And yes, yeah, so, you know, why let President Trump get the pleasure of naming everybody, giving everybody a nickname? We're going to jump in there too, Jessica. Lil Trump. Lil Trump is weighing in on this, and he's wrong per usual. I mean, 99.9% .9 of the time, he is wrong. And you are absolutely right. We're covering it. So many people are covering this. Uh, yet another mass shooting, and it just it is a reminder that we must do something about gun violence in the United States of America. We must have a very communal and deep seated conversation and move this conversation to action. If not, we will be reporting more incidences just like this, unfortunately. And Jessica, you threw out that stat: thirty-three shootings in twenty-three days. Yeah, no, it's twenty-three days. Yeah, thirty-three shootings. Yeah, yeah. well, we're sounding the alarm here as many others are doing the same thing. America, we gotta get serious about this, okay? Some folks wanna continue to act like the second amendment is absolute. It is absolutely not absolute. It is not the most important thing, saving lives. You know, there was a preamble to that constitution too, that people seem to forget about, you know, protection of welfare, et cetera, et cetera. You know, doing the high good. You know, I'm paraphrasing it, but there are other parts of the Constitution other than the Second Amendment. We have so many guns in the United States of America, and it is a problem. Yes, if certain people want to do bad deeds, you know, just having gun laws alone won't necessarily solve the problem. We get that, we will admit that, but we need to start somewhere, and we can start multiple places. We can do multiple things at one time, but we must, we must, we must deal with this proliferation of gun violence. Violence in the United States of America. It is a scorch.